Hey guys, this is Kid Rob speaking, and today we're back in Pro Cycling Manager 2020 with Max Van Dick. And he, he sure is uh, coming, coming uh, in, into flourishing here uh, with the Giro d'Italia and uh, level 25 now. Uh, yes, we did get some more decent ish stats with the last level up, uh, which was a good one. And now we are not really competitive, but uh, a little closer to it. Our secondary stats are still so unbelievably shite, though. So, yes, okay, let's uh, continue with Jijiro. And today's stage is 200... Oh, 219k. And that looks like a Gav stage. Let's take a look. Where's Gav? Yes, there he is. We are an outsider for, for this one. Um, we can beat anyone in here apart from Gav in the sprint. So we need him to fuck up, and then uh, Thunderpearl uh, needs to uh, uh, go and suck something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Racing. And there we are. Race day condition, please. We have zero buys. So what do? Ooh. Rolled a plus two. Well, that's nice. Uh, that really puts us into the top of the competition here. So, uh, not a very difficult stage, but a long one. We also have a very decent helper. He is kind of awesome. Um, even has some sprint, so we can use him as a lead out too. And here comes the first mountain. That's the biggest one for the day. Uh, we're limited 65. Let's see how much they are going to crush it over this one. Uh, so far, quite brutal. As you can see from my teammates. But, yeah, they are mostly accelerating and slowing down, accelerating and slowing down. So, we should be able to just follow over it with no problems. Yes. Yes, we did. Alright, saved a lot of energy there. I don't know if I have mentioned that before, but one thing that I'm noticing more and more, the more I learn about the actual mechanics of cycling for my own training and such, the people who originally designed the mechanics for this back like 20 years ago, those guys actually knew what they were doing. Um, I think a few more iterations back then with them on board and going in the right direction, in air quotes, would have given us a fantastic simulation. Because let's let's just exemplify this, right? So, you know that around uh, the, um, what is it, uh, 60 mark, right? If you're riding 60 here, depending on your uh, resistance score, you are not losing any uh, resistance, which is the yellow bar. That 60 marker is pretty much what is considered zone 2 riding in a 6 zone system or even 5 zone system. And that perfectly corresponds to actual uh, physiology. So you can ride that all day, basically. Uh, well, not, not really all day, but these guys would be able to ride that all day. And that is something like 250 ish 270 ish watts right they can do that all day it's that's n not not so difficult i can i can do it for like a few minutes <laughs> max 270 watts uh for four minutes maybe <laughs> maybe five <laughs> they can do it all day <laughs> so that's not a problem and uh, then you know that 80 or rather 85 that is vo2 max um and that means that is the maximum amount of oxygen you can um, you can convert into into energy, um, but that leaves its problems so if you can't really hold that for long, and that is your resistance bar. And then if you go beyond that, that is purely um, anaerobic exercise. Yeah, I was uh, struggling to get the word out there. Um, and that means that you are burning the stuff that is in your muscles and like stored in there and is in your available in your blood flow as is and nutrients and such and energy. Um, and that can't be sustained for very long. So all these all these limits that we see here work in game. Uh, they do exist in real life. 
So those who designed these mechanics, um, they kind of knew what they were doing, which is astonishing seeing some of the poor implementations uh, in other regards. So yeah, so kudos to the designers back, back in the day um, who set up this base system for it. That is pretty much spot on. So um, I mean, it's it's basic and such, and every rider is is not the same in the, the, those regards, and it doesn't change um, as they tire out and and so on. I mean, and details, right? Details, and those details are missing from the game. And that is a shame. Uh, they had twenty years to put them in, and they didn't. So that, that's what I'm usually complaining about. And now uh, we should start to up our limit here a little bit. Uh, and get back to the race. So what has happened? Four riders up front, two minutes on the clock, they will be caught. And we just have this four, fourth category climb coming up. Yes, um, and the peloton has opened up the throttle. So alright, we are hanging in here, 27 kilometers left to go, one minute on the clock. So they will be caught easily. And the peloton has a pretty solid pace going for it. Now there was a gap forming there. Huh, okay. Uh, I don't know why. There was basically no hurdles in a way. But sometimes shit happens. Um, 17k to go. And now we're at 6.4 and I'm setting up my lead out. So you are going to go out to the side here. And Dicky, please follow. Uh, Dick, Dicky, not Dicky. Dick, Dick. Uh, and we need to... Hmm. There's the five kilometer marker. The position, yeah, let's check out the map. How difficult is it to get there? I'm a little too far behind, I fear. Yeah, that's fine though. I mean, there's no sharp corner there. This is the last one, which looks to be about 2.5k away from the finish. Uh, maybe 2.3, around there. So, we need to get out to the side and to the front. Oh yeah, that was a nice, nice move through there. Now let's activate our bar. That is looking great. Now we are in a good position. That is looking solid. So let's, um, oh, where are you? You're not helping. Okay, now forget it. Um, so yes, oh, who's attaching to my wheel? Gav. <sighs> are you serious? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Yes, someone else, please. Martin. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Perfect. You're the exact rider I wanted to attach to my wheel. <laughs> that makes it pretty safe. Uh, 3.8. It's nice and slow. There comes Gav. Uh, we are getting blocked in here for this corner, it looks like. That should be fine. Let's just accelerate slightly. Oh, more blocking. More blockers coming in. 3k. Oh, shit, they're going hard already. Let's go 95. I'm stuck. Come on. Where's the dick? Come on, the dick. Holy shit, what are you doing? This is not looking great, is it? Come on, dick. Yes, okay, so accelerate. There, we need, we need to go. 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 Um... And the dick is uh, empty already, so that is uh, not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, that was catastrophe. We lost contact there, so uh, that didn't work. Getting blocked. Yes, yeah, my favorite thing. But Gav also got blocked, and we didn't, we didn't make anything out of it. So that sucks. Another long stage. Holy shit, how can you make a tour even better for Thunderbolt? It's like, yeah, let's make all stages super long and then give them lots of punchy finishes. Yes. Oh, uh, well, we didn't have any punchy finishes so far, but there, there are plenty in this one, I believe. Uh, let's have a quick look through. Yeah, that one, for instance. Um, yeah, perfect for him. He's going to win. Uh, that one, not so much. That one, oh, he could. He's probably able to hang in here another fucking long what is going on come on be a bit reasonable about the distances 180 that's more reasonable uh, this one is also punchy he's going to take that one uh what is with these distances who designed this tour uh and then what what is that 
That's supposed to be a time trial. Okay. Uh, it's brutal. It's absolutely brutal. Flat to... Whoa. False flat. Um, and that one... Montoso. Okay. That looks fucking steep. Average almost 10%. Whew. And then this little climb here. Ouch! Ouch! Anyway, you get the point. There's plenty of punching in this one. And long stages. Many, many long stages. So he is going to have an advantage on all of those. And here we go. What do we get today? We have a negative one. Uh, that is to be expected. So far we've been a little lucky. Uh, with good rolls. And this is a mediocre poor one. Reichenbach is our leader. Their leader. Ah, uh, he's not Austrian. He's he's uh, he's Swiss, so it doesn't quite work. So we've just two escapees up front, and they are being chased down. Uh, there's the mountain jersey. He's uh, trying to get those points, and he fails. And now they have opened up the floodgates, and holy shit, they are riding hard. Oop, they're riding very hard. So, but we are across now. Which means that hopefully it slows down and we have saved some energy or a lot of it already. That wouldn't wouldn't be too bad. Oh yes, that has saved so much juice. Now we can just roll to the front. So now there are four escapees up front, three minutes forty-five, and still one hundred fucking fifty kilometers to go. Okay, I think this is the first proper obstacle there. <laughs> Uh, the first real one. Well, the first real one was there, but we uh, kind of yo-yoed our way through. Uh, this one could be a little harder because I think they are going to uh, be racing it pretty hard. Uh, let's take uh, position up front once again and up the uh, limiter to 75. All right, we are at the foot of this little one. Let's see what they are doing. If they are amping it up crazily or not. Oh, I think I need my... Um, anti-ass block missile system activated it's not AMS but AAMS uh, so uh, that is looking pretty good yes they are going hard and we are limited just about right there's a sprint rating on top which will yield basically nothing um, or exactly nothing no two points last 17 kilometers are on now and let's check out the terrain uh, where's my mouse pointer? There it is. Uh, yes, so this one kind of a mix between flat and hill and then sharp descend for very few kilometers, one and a half or something. And then we are getting into... With the, uh, the final climb is just the last few hundred meters are quite steep and the rest is very much not. Wow, now they're going super hard though. Oh, Thunderbolt is attacking. Okay, and Kwiatkowski is attacking. So let, let's go 85 dot. It's a little early, 10 kilometers out. That's crazy. Pogo stick man is here. Pogacha. Um, yeah, your your stats will be a little higher in next uh, iteration of this game, I'm sure. And yes, uh, especially especially those stats there and the mountain stat. Hmm. <coughs> um, yes. And we are still doing pretty well. The peloton is up front. Hmm, I wonder if we would be able to get away. But probably not. If we could solo this effort. Oh. I see a little gap here. And he's a little empty. Pogacha probably not. But... Um, yeah, uh, th there should be plenty of juice still left in the peloton because this has been the uh, the only bit they've been riding harder, so they're not wasted just yet. Not that much of an opportunity, really. And with our mediocre stats today, I probably can't really attack this. But maybe, maybe they are breaking up now. Let's go 90 here so that we create a little bit of a gap. There we go. That might be... Might be a little chance for them to... Is he going? No, he's not. Um, 
Should we just try? Yeah, okay, so we are off. It's a strong attack. And... There, yeah, okay, we have a little gap. By Luchenko. Uh, Luchenko is... Uh, is counterattacking. Let's see what we can do here, though. Um, we go dot effort and aerodynamic positioning. 90. Should be pretty quick. And we do need to activate our bar, that's for sure. We're into the last five kilometers. And we should probably... Just go 85 so that we can recuperate a little bit of that red in this little downhill section here. And now in the flat, uh, yeah, we do have 24 seconds at the moment. The others are racing hard. We do have plenty of resistance for the rest of the stage. Not so much red. Um, so this will be tougher. See, I don't think this is enough. This is 28 seconds. Um, that's not that much. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, that's not much. That is not much. Uh, Lushenko is behind me, and he will... He has way better stats. Also, negative one today. So, not great. Not feeling great. Let's be efficient about it. Go 90. And there's ten... Uh, two, two kilometers left. Oh, fun... fun of are you fucking kidding me, mate? <laughs> can I follow him? No, 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 no. You can? Are you empty? You are empty. Okay. Um, that means that I'm going to go on the attack now. You can't follow that, can you? No, no, no. You can't. Okay. So there's the finish. Does the dick do it? We do have the resistance. There's Van der Poel, Kwiatkowski, he's empty. I think we have a Giro win. Stage win incoming! Go, Dick, go, go, go! 13, 14 seconds. Yes! Yes! There comes the Dick. Ah, oh, such elegance. Uh, elegance. Um, we are... Uh, what won us the race? Could, um could think about that. I believe that was us seeing the gap before the uh, top of the hill uh, and f the gap forming and accelerating out to make the gap happen without us actually pulling at the front and that caused a little bit of confusion with the group being split up and that in turn uh, then up oh, the game crashed. Uh, well okay doesn't matter. So we're not going to see the um, the podium or anything, uh, all the results, but it's saved, so that's fine. Ah, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, just 24 points? Really? Oh, come on. That's a little meager. Uh, oh, well. 50 points left for the level up. Ah, oh, yes, finally a shorter stage. Nice. Uh, should give us some recovery. Yeah, but what I was saying there is, yeah, the, the attack on top of the hill um, coming off, forming that little gap, that really gave us an advantage. Um, 20 seconds for free, roughly. And that was what made the difference. And what do we get today? What do we get today? Plus two again. Oh, yeah, we do have some, some luck this year so far. That is probably going to be taken away from us the moment we reach the important stages in the mountains. Uh, yeah, but this one is a classic little sprint stage. So Gav is going to be the main favorite. But uh, today at least Van der Poel can't really play his main advantage of uh, against, compared to the competition in this one. Um, which is the stamina rating. Of course this stage is just too short. Yeah, not very steep. But they are riding oof, oof hard. Oof. Really oof hard. Uh, come on, hang in there. At 70, please. Come on, hang in there. Uh, it's getting a little tight. Getting a little tight. It's up to 75. Yeah, that's enough. That is enough. That will blow up the sprinters for sure. But also, my. Oh, come on, hang in there. Uh, hang in there. I don't want to up it anymore. 
This is nasty. This is nasty speed. Oh, no. Don't die. Please don't die. 80. Yeah, you've got to ride 80, don't you? Yes. Oh, playing with fire. There we go. Holy shit, they have been riding hard. Yeah, there we go. So now we can down at 70, I believe. That should be good. Or good enough. And the second climb was basically the same thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, saved some energy there, too. Oh, I just saw that in the overall points classification, we're actually in second place. That yeah, last stage win there eh, did make the difference. Uh, very nice. And just getting a few points here and there, even for our shit finishes. Uh, that's all good. And three riders up front, so I'm not going to bother sprinting. There are no bonus seconds or many points there to grab. Okay, here comes the next obstacle. That is a fourth category climb. Yeah, short but sweet. Um, quite steep. And the escapees have one and a half minutes. Uh, they're not even riding hard here. Uh, it's fine, yeah, this is a sprint stage. If it were classified as a hill stage, they would be going bonkers here right now. Oh, Michael Matthews has become available to us as a sprinter. I've already pulled up uh, Roux as one of uh, one of my potential helpers, or rather wheel cleaners. Uh, he can be right behind me and stop anyone from clinging on to myself. And, but I think what we're going to do here is to use the Michael, the Matthews, and he is going to protect me as well as lead me out. He certainly has the striking power. Now, uh, what the fuck is Michael doing? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, finally. He's basically nuking himself at the moment. Okay, let's um, activate his super leader ability thing. That will be good. Uh, very useful. If he could get to me, that would be even better. Let's go out to the side so he knows where to go. Yes, ooh, dodged a fall there too. Uh, 5.9 kilometers left. Let's go to the other side. Come on, Michael. Come on, lead me out. Uh, Van Dijk needs to follow that guy. All right, now we are set up. Okay, you go 85. Yes. And there we have 4.5k. That means we should take a look at the map. Um, now is the last chance to do that. Okay, it's a lap. So we have these two corners to contend with. That will be, this is pretty much a triangle we extend it out there so these will be at about halfway because the finish is right there not where this icon is but right in the middle so it's basically looking like a triangle so this means that this is at well if we split it that's 2.25 K so um, this is at two kilometers remaining and this is at 2.4 kilometers remaining roughly um, so or 2.5 um, that means these don't really matter that much. We should be well positioned going into those, though. So 85 with Michael is certainly good in this situation. We have a wheel cleaner right there, just for safety. And I forgot my bar. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Uh, that doesn't help. Oh, being squeezed in here. How nasty. How na oh, come on! Are you fucking kidding me? You need to go harder, mate. You need to go 95 now. Ah, oh, and the dick got blocked again? Are you kidding me? Shit. <sighs> what do we do? Who is this bastard? Oh no, not this slowpoke again. No, no, it's not the same slowpoke. There's another Martin. This is Tony Martin. All right. Um, it's not a slow poke, but uh, still. Uh, I don't want to be stuck ag again. Holy shit. Come on. Get through. Okay. Looks like we are getting through somehow. Let's pull out here. Uh, this is 1.7k. We are not in a, the best position in the world. Why are you out there? Can you pull... 
to there and sprint. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yes, yes, yes. We need to sprint now too, though. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go. Hard. Go harder. Don't get blocked. Oh, I'm just not fast enough. Uh, it's a decent place, but... Uh, well, we used uh, for the position that we got in. This was pretty well done. Um, and the position we were in was shit. Got blocked by Tony Martin. So, fifth. And we got blocked because we weren't quite far enough forward. And the usual suspects, of course, Gav and Matthew, are taking one and two. Oh shit, I didn't actually notice that we are so far forward in the general classification. Second place at the moment, third in the sprinter rating and first in a young rider jersey. Uh, that's probably going to change seeing this stage. Uh, this is not made for us. Holy shit, this second category climb is very long. That's 15k long? What? Uh, it's not very steep, probably, because this is, well, on this scale. Yeah, it's probably not very steep. But this climb there, that is steep. And then the long descent looks about flat, so maybe we can use our arrow skill in this one. If we get there. <laughs> yeah, that's another question. Um, this probably counts as mountain, though, so it should be okay if we roll a decent race day condition. Uh, let's do it. And here we are. Are we rolling the worst so far? It is likely. No, no, it's a zero, so we are probably somewhat competitive today. Oh, this isn't steep. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That is certainly an interesting stage in that. Very, very long, though. Lots of wind today, once again. And we do have decent helpers, too, so this should be pretty good. Overall, I think I'm going to use you as a helper today, not Michael Matthews. That's looking better. Oh yeah, they are riding super hard up these little slopes. So I'm going to do well by just hanging back there and like trying to waste as little as possible. Use the positioning advantage. Yo, you're back in front. Uh, back and forward. About halfway. Uh, four escapees up front, three minutes only, so not a chance. But there's this big valley coming up, nothing in there really. Going over a little hill now, I think they might up, up the pace significantly here. Let's just watch out, not be dropped. Looking okay so far. Yep, should be good. Throw the tunnel and out the other side. Um, so down the valley and then into the final climb. All right, now's the time to get a little further to the front because they mean business now. This climb is super long, by the way, 17k long, but average gradient is uh, just below 5%, so it's not that punishing. No, uh, no, yeah, it is 4% if you count the uh, less steep bits, um, and max percentage just 5.8. Yeah, that's pretty mild. But you know what makes this less mild? When you ride it up at like 40k an hour. So what I'm going to try now is to just hold position here at like 80, which should be doable for the most part. They're going to open up pretty heftily, I assume. So we don't get ass blocked too hard. Yeah, so far so good. 80 seems to be working. It's roughly threshold. Um... Yeah, a little, little bit below. Yeah, no. Roughly threshold riding. Slightly below that. Maybe 170 would be threshold for these guys. I think. Around there. Um, yes. So, not even halfway through. But so far, we still have plenty of resistance to go. We do need a lot if we want to place any attack there towards the end. Still 6k to go. And slowly, um, the legs are emptying out. Lusenko is probably a good measure. Uh, yeah, yeah, he is. He is. And that is looking quite similar. Yeah, we are still doing a little bit better than him, so we're doing well. I'm not going to go crazy here, because I know there's this little downhill coming, and the flat bit towards the top. 
and I can regain positions there with my sneaking ability. Just punish through the... Penetrate through the penantle. Okay, we're slowly getting through here. 1.8 kilometers left to go to the mountain top. And... Oh, well, it's not the top. It's the first first peak. Uh, the escapees are still up front. And these guys are sprinting, basically, now. That is... It's good for me, I guess, because that is taking way too many resources away from them. Uh, there is... Ooh, group forming. We're in the correct group, though. Okay, 10k left. We don't have that much resistance left. Uh, I do want to get to the front, if possible. Reichenbach is still in here somehow. Where is he? Uh, basically dead. We don't need our bar for the final kilometers. Uh, I would think, yeah, that it's, it should be fine. So, if we just move into a good position here. Let's activate the sneaking. Um, move into a good position. Go 85. Go, go, go. Accelerate. Yes, that's pretty good. Um, so now, Thunderbolt. Um, yeah. Yeah, looking solid. So he's probably going to attack. No? You're not? Hmm. Interesting situation then, isn't it? Huh. How do we get a gap? Because these guys have slowed right down. We're doing 25, and there's 15k. 20, 17. Lusenko is at 20. Come 20... About 18, so these guys are pretty slow compared to us. What if uh, Molar is going on our wheel, like there, and then as soon as we attack, do we want to attack? It's a little too. It's a little too early. Fuck! It's a little too early. Yeah. I mean, give him the super leader. And we go 85 here. Or is it? Have they accelerated up again? Yeah, Lusenko is up again. Uh, he would be following on my wheel. Unless he... Yeah, or Kamp. They are decent hill riders. I don't have the punch in me. So let's, let's keep this grindy. Make it a little hard. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Looking good. Oh, they are even going. Oof, okay. Uh... Hmm. There's not far to go. Lusenko is looking like he is going hard, but is he attacking? He is not. So should we wait? Oh man, and still these guys up front. Not the worst riders in the world either. Pogacha, Kwiatkowski, Landa, and Hayek. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so we would have to win in a sprint, basically. But that means that we can... If we need to win, win in a sprint, we can go a little harder now. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. And it is flattening out now. We could try to catch up to the, the other riders there. No, they are continuing to go. They are continuing to go hard, so we can't get away. Or can we? No, we don't. We don't have enough resistance now. We can't can't pull that off. So let's let's calm down. Let's calm down. Recuperate a little. And are they just going to let them win? That is a good question. Five k to go. These guys are just waiting. Yeah, they have nothing in the tank, eh? Oh, he has. Oof, okay. How do we do this? Um, I would like to use my aerodynamic skill. But uh, for that, I, I do need a bit of a gap. So let's give it one try. No, you fuck off, mate. You hang in there somewhere. And you just go that way. We accelerate. Boom. Go. Yes, okay, we're off. We go aerodynamic positioning. And now we go hard. Go really hard. Come on. Go super hard. 20 seconds on them already. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, go harder. Go harder. 
Go harder. Go harder. If we can catch them. Holy shit, we can catch them. Okay. So now, slow down. Or do we have so much advantage in speed that we can take the sprint directly? It is still downhill, so maybe that works. Yeah, I think with the aerodynamic skill we probably are able to. So we have that one active. Go on the outside and sprint. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Fuck, still a kilometer left. Ah, oh, that wasn't enough. No! <laughs> you bastards. You bastards. But look at that. That, that was over a minute. Holy shit. Yeah, we got a minute on them. But just a fifth. So that was a waste. Should have waited and then sprinted. And we did get the same time as those guys. So that was the right choice. And... Oh, in the general, we are now leading. <laughs> we are now in the leader's jersey of a grand tour. Uh, that's a decent way to end the episode, I would say. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. <laughs>